Welcome back, a little bit of an update on the Merc again. I'll just show you where I'm up to. So last night I was working till about 11 o'clock, stripped off all the leather and all the timber now. Bit of a, a beer can there from, from my working. I've took off the leather trim there. That's that's the bit that sits underneath. Some of the, uh, the, the bolts were an absolute nightmare to get to and obviously I've had to undo all the switch gear as well. But what we're going to do today, I'm going to give it a good blow out with the air hose and vac all the shit up from inside. See the hole just there that I've discovered that wasn't done when it was, uh, when it was last done. And then if I show you this sill here, it's all right, botch a weld there. I'm going to cut that out and re-weld it. Take it around the other side because I've stripped a little bit when I took the 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 chrome trims or I think the chrome or aluminium it shows where they've done a bit of work on the quarter panel I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look but it's unlikely but if you have a look at that there just been bogged so what I'm going to do I'm going to use a, a 1mm grinding disc obviously I'll strip all this off slit it down there and hopefully pull the panel out so it's a bit more flush and then at the front they've used different types of bolts so I'll just get some some matching bolts they I think they're just like 10 mil uh, 10 mil bolts I use very similar on my metro so I'll get some stainless steel ones like I use on the metro and I'll probably bolt it afterwards now on the inside It's not looking too bad, though both sides are a little bit different to one another. Obviously I need to strip all this out. That's where the hole is, so obviously I'm gonna to have to do that. Bit of a botch there, but I'm gonna leave that because obviously that, that can't be seen and I don't wanna to go too far. When I clean this off, I'm gonna weld up every single hole going round and we're going to redo, re-screw all them. This leather obviously needs to come out. Whole dash is clear. See bits of surface rust. I'm going to take a paper template of the master cylinder holes and I'm going to find some universal ones which are going to suit them. The heater matrix seems to have a bit of a drip but it seems to have stopped now. But I'm going to take all this plastic out and take out these vents today i've started working on the lights i didn't film that but most of the lights are working at the front the passenger side indicator is not though so i need to do a little bit on that now the glove box was broken i don't know if i, I put anything on it but the front of it had a, a screw there holding the hinge in place but last night what I've done is I've clamped it in the vise and I've epoxy resined the pieces together so I need to just sand all that down and that'll be ready for re-veneering uh, I just need to make sure it's worked that hole there is for the glove box light glove box light is here I've had it in the sonic cleaner and it's come out like brand new even where the cables sit inside really clean the ashtray is not great i think what i'm going to do with the ashtray is even though it was partly chrome i'll take the lid off it and i think i'll sandblast that and we'll paint it with some high temperature paint possibly do the same with this as well these are all the, the trims from inside from the dash that's just enough to stay as it is. That I can take off quite easily. These trims here from around the dashboard, they're a bit knackered, so I'm gonna look into getting them re-chromed. The vents are pretty decent. They've been cleaned nicely. I've ultrasonic cleaned the indicators. These are a little bit damaged. 
They also need clean and stripped off the paint from the outside though, so I'm gonna to have to re repaint them. I'll just do them probably black, and that's done it for both of them. Um, the catches for the hood, they've been in the ultrasonic cleaner, they've come out pretty well. A little bit of tarnishing on them, but I'm not too fussed about that. Piece for the ashtray, not too bad. If I can get the chrome and done for a reasonable price, I will get it re chromed though. Luckily, because all the, all the wiring was a bit of a nightmare to, to get to, and as you can see, all one's cleaning up. Luckily you didn't have to take the ignition out, so that was a, a godsend. So I'll come back once I've stripped out these bits here and we'll give it a bit of a, a clean up on the inside and see what we're left with. But we're, we're starting to make some progress now because basically what I want to do is get all behind this dash all cleaned up, get all the rust treated. It's only surface rust. I may have to go a little bit further here and possibly I'll take that off just like a vent so I need to take the, the wiper fronts off there so I'll take that off I need to take them off anyway to paint it and see if we need to cut any pieces out I've got um, a shrinker stretcher so I should be able to make some panels I'm wondering what's happened in the past because I've not done this so I'm assuming at some stage bits of this dash have been out anyway all right so a quick update i've managed to get the, the plastics from the windscreen vents out on that side this side i'd have to drop the steering column which i don't really want to do but i've managed to loosen them and get them so i can tuck them behind to do the the welding repairs i've dropped down the handbrake as you can see i'm gonna just pop that back up take the strain off it I've started stripping all the insulation off and as you can see it does want rubbing back and it's just been black hammerite from the looks of things so I think I'm just going to do the same thing I'll just get rid of all of it and then I'll put some sound deadening on it as well when it's finished I think rather than this stuff that was that was on there previously um, steering column I'll paint black in situ and deliberating over what to do with the dash i think i'm actually going to do the, the dash in black as well because it has little bits of trim around it anyway and potentially this has all been touched in, in black so i'll do all that black windscreen surround i will do body color because that's how it should be all these as i said getting welded up and we'll start fresh with them i'm going to get the doors off soon but before i take the doors off I actually want to weld, take the front seats out and I want to weld across there just to make sure the body keeps its structure. I'm sure it will, but it's going to be up and down the air. So I just want to make sure I've got a, a bit of a strap going across just to make sure. 